Hey. Yo, I bet that's worth some bank. And so. Trips in reform school? Yeah, shut your mouth and do your job. The lady says museum, we go to the museum. Lots to steal in museums. Great. Why do we have to fight this fight? Kingpin's got people more, you know, in his way class. Hey, Kingpin's got a plan, and he ain't let us down yet. You want to start criticizing? Go ahead. It's your fuel. What I'm about to do to these crooks is unsuitable for some audiences. <laughs> Now take some time to think about it. Have you been working out? Felicia, why am I not surprised? Oh, is our relationship getting predictable? Let me see what I can do to bring the excitement back. Sit back, relax, and enjoy being unconscious. <sighs> I expected better from you, Felicia. You don't need hot guys in skin-tight spider costumes selling shoes. You could have hooked up with me. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I meant work with me. Or take down bad guys instead of being one. It's my nature to break the rules, Spider. You should try it sometime. You might like getting a little naughty. But working for the Kingpin, Felicia? Organized crime? You're better than that. Oh, you have no idea how good I am. A little privacy, please? I got him! If you want me to let you go, raise your hand! Somebody there? Bruno!
happened to you? I webbed your nostrils open so you won't snore. No need to thank me. the spider alone you were supposed to help us lady let that be a lesson to you fellas follow a woman just because you like the way she fills out a cat suit and you'll be disappointed every time that's a first no man's ever called me disappointing before you just had to give me a chance spider job. Okay. Should I have served my time like a good little girl? Get out when I'm old and wrinkly? I don't think so. You're saying the kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. <laughs> Webs, do your stuff! <laughs> you're so cute when you're confused! <laughs> Did that hurt? Let me kiss it, maybe that hurt. We're running the tricks, are we? Watching you leave even better. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're mad at me. <laughs> Don't feel bad. You're not. You're not. All right. You're not good. I know I'm playing hard to get, but I'm worth it.
And heave! Your heart wasn't in this, Felicia. Tell me what he did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fitz. Yes. He said he knew I was after power, and, and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross-species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face. Just your lips. I, I can get you help. Witness protection. A new life, safe from the Kingpin. And... Maybe... Maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live with me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Felicia, wait! Makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force, and the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. than anyone. Just in, webs need something to stick to.
I've heard conflicting arguments about Spider-Man. I'm unsure what to believe. Self-presentable. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? <sighs> Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's gotta be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure, but it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it, and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... ...you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me... ...like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well... Uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. I'll take that. I caught up with Peter Parker.
makes someone decide to be a henchman? Low self-esteem? <laughs> to know what those two want. <laughs> Suitable busted. Him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. Sure, Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. And he's in no mood to wait. Check that one off my list. Now that's fun! I'm up. If I give Harry my blood without testing it first, it could kill him. Or, or turn him into a monster, like with Dr. Connors. And then who knows how many people he might hurt, even kill. sure it's safe. For him and everyone else. Get down and 
Cover your mouth. I'm on my way. My marshmallows. This money doesn't play favorites. Neither does the seismic blast. That's some serious heat. Gotta find the people quick. Very nicely done. It's like a bouncy house. Am I right? woman embraced the sun she thought she'd never see again. I'm starting to wonder why anyone would keep working at Oscorp. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Guys are improved. A big win with style. Ah, 
Poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. Sure, Harry, I give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. And he's in no mood to wait. Those two are up to no good. Busted. without testing it first, it could kill him. Or, or turn him into a monster like with Dr. Connors. And then who knows how many people he might hurt, or even kill. I've put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. Kane, thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it. I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I. No, no, just, just go. He's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. Why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. Not typical. The coward's not here. But I learned tracking from the best. Him. I'm gonna go over this room with a fine-tooth comb. It's all for 
for me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. You're a fake! A coward! This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sought fear and mistrust. But he is little more than a beast. It was inevitable he would have to be removed. Come get me, boy. It'll be hard to spot him in the streets, but we have to try. There is no escape. that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? <laughs> it was a test to see how strong you could be. You could stomach this feeling. It, you disappointed me. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Ambush me from the trees. I can smell your fear. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. Are you deliberately moving really slowly? I may raise you. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. I get it now. You're trying to bore me to death. He's in the trees. I'll find him before he springs a trap. You've been a poor sport. Hey, attention! I'm not gonna do this again for your benefit. You have learned my new flail around like a drunken sailor. You cross, but... Hard to spot. 
spot him in those trees, but I have to try. There is no escape! This once I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. And so be it. To the death! No! That's your way. On my watch, no one dies. And of course the Daily Bugle never gets pictures of me winning like this. I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. The information I have given you will get you inside the building. But you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. Funny how when crime's up, it's my fault. And when it's down... Forgets I exist. I should hitch a ride on one of the trucks, see what he's up to. Now that's fun! I don't 
wake you up. I'm not used to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. I hope the bad guys appreciate all the effort I go through looking for them. Tell them we've got the delivery. I'll watch the truck. You got it, boss. One thing will work on this door. Ionic weapon. some cold water. I'm gonna beat you. <clears throat> Don't feel bad. You're not... You're not... <laughs> All the armor in the world can't fix stupid. Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up padding my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shift. I'll tell the boys. Task Force Cops, working with crooks. No. Who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. <sighs> I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, I even impress myself. That's what I'm talking about.
not sure about the kingpin. I don't like work. Task Force? Take down the armored guys. The rest won't know what to do. <sighs> okay, ionic webbing. Let's redecorate. I see you. When you put forth this weak and effort, I gotta feel like you don't respect me. doesn't make them any faster. Ratbag, assault on police officers. You've been busy, Spider-Man. Care to add more crimes to the list? The elite task force wasn't all that elite. I'm sure you're quite pleased with yourself, but the night is young. Got him! Don't think of it as a stick. only as good as the guy inside. And those guys? Yeah, not good. Please, Spider-Man, beat up some more police officers. They'll make wonderful new footage. your tooth, but don't worry. Whatever those guys get paid, it's too much. I'm rapidly losing patience with you, insect. Ah, come on, what's a spider gonna do? He messes with us, he just gives us an excuse. I got it. Give me robots any day. No more robots games, don't talk Buffalo your ear off. Just you and me. I have to take a hand in this sordid matter.
doesn't play favorites. Neither does the seismic blast. What's that? Man. It really is so hard to get good help these days. calling the shots, which makes them my prime targets. the guys who give the orders. Armored guys are in charge. If I take them down, it'll confuse everybody. Fellas, I got it! I see you. Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. If you want me to let you go, raise your hand. No? Okay. Admit it. Even you're impressed. Elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> well, if it isn't the Kingpin! Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tookus. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you've threatened me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare people. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix me? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. I live in the real world, Spider-Man. You're so fat, you're the same height lying down. Yes, 
expect me to fight it myself? Some people don't expect a crime free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. Where if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want order. You're wrong. People want peace. They want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules everyone else has to follow, they'll be okay. comes out. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm not a fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah? We'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop... All units. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. <laughs> Using those generators to make an energy shield. We gotta take him out. I have to get to Times Square fast. Everyone in here is you. You should be lucky you're on the other side.
If I don't wreck those generators, I'm not getting anywhere near Times Square. You can't get to me, Spider-Man! If you have any decisions, you'll fight for your life! Something familiar about you, Max Dillon? You don't even remember. You said I was your eyes and ears. <laughs> said we were partners. I remember now. I did say that, and I meant it. Liar! You abandoned me! Left me in that place. Let them hurt me. All alone in the dark. I don't know what happened to you. I can see you're in pain, but I can't help you unless you let me. You don't care. I live my whole life in darkness, and nobody cares. Now you'll all see what it's like. Uh. There's bad people everywhere, Max. I'm sorry for what they did to you. That doesn't give you an excuse to be one of them. No, really, how do you play video games? Is it like constant systems crash? <laughs>
Phil's gonna be through the roof! out what they're doing here. Stop fighting me. Tell the police what they're up to. We can bring them down together. <laughs> At first I felt kind of bad for you. Now not so much. <laughs> uh, lousy time for my web shooters to stop working. shooters really don't like electricity. Now really, how do you play video games? Is it like constant systems crash? It's all getting dark! 
to feel sorry for the guy. He was a victim. And if what he said about Ravencroft is true, I've got to shut that place down. Oscorp's one of their big donors. Maybe Harry can help. Yeah. Mr. Osborne, you were right. Fisk is buying up Oscorp stock for a hostile takeover. But as long as you're here, I'm confident we can stop it. Right. As long as I'm here. <laughs>